Alright, so there are a few things that kind of piss me off. Actually, a lot of stuff pisses me off, but a few things that in general just, what well, it doesn't need to happen. Okay, so I will first want to start off with YouTube celebrities. Let's take um, Renetto, let's take Boheme, and um, the angry Nintendo video game nerd, I apologize. Alright, let's start with Boheme. Or Bo Threem Three, as I like to call him, because I don't know. That's just what I see when I read his name. Anyways, okay, let's go to his videos. Raiders of the Lost Croc. <laughs> that's pretty funny. He posted that four days ago. Okay, that's you know a fairly long time ago. I mean, could be longer. Uh, then his other video is Film School. Three weeks ago. Hmm, that's a pretty big gap between four days and three weeks. Uh. Deer Table 23, uh, one month ago. Hmm. Well, that's also a pretty big leap from, you know, four days. Like, what the fuck? Why is it that vlogger, hogger, blogger people like both 3 and 3 always post videos, like, once every month? And now let's go to some of his older videos. Okay, let's count how many videos of his that he posted 11 months ago. Exactly 11 months ago. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Next page. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. He posted 18 videos in the same month. What does that tell you compared to nowadays? I mean, in his earlier videos, he wasn't even really that popular. So he posted like a zillion videos every single day, week, whatever, month. But when he got famous, he's cut down to like one video a month. Alright, now let's go to Renetto. You know, I'm not a very big fan of Renetto. I mean, I, I don't know why I don't like him. I just don't. Um, okay, let's see. Actually, he posted something 23 hours ago. That's pretty nice, I think. Uh, and then uh, one day ago, four days ago, five days ago. So, I think he's pretty consistent with his stuff, I think. I don't know, I don't, I don't know much about Renetto. But just seeing his front video page thingy, he seems pretty consistent. Only big gap is how to build a song with Garage Band and I'm So Gay, The Wine Cone, and more. Those two videos have a like two, three week span between them. Oh, but this is shallow. Look at this. His recent ratings Granito or the Renetto Stone, which he rated five stars. That's pretty shallow to look for videos of yourself on YouTube. Um, is Renetto sucking Satan off? Like, he he searches for himself on YouTube? How shallow is that? Intro to Renetto Month? Is he, like, so high and mighty that he has to look for himself on YouTube? I don't know. Whatever. I don't know why I don't like Renetto. I don't know why I find things to pick on Renetto about. But, Bohem is still the prime example of spacious video pudding. Mmm, video pudding. It's good stuff. Mm, yes. Anyways, uh, who else did I say? Uh, James Nintendo Nerd. Okay, this guy isn't really as a good example as Renetto, but he's still a good example. Um, his latest video is Trailer Fester's Quest. Uh, two weeks ago he posted that. And then Shit Pickle Episode 2, two weeks ago. Kung Fu Bandito, three weeks ago. And then everything else is basically a month to two months ago. So, he's been kind of active recently, but not so recently. And now let's go to his earlier videos. Well, I'm not really sure. Everything's one year ago. Well, his first five videos... His first five videos... The first three were posted on the same day, April 8th, 2006. The next one was posted on April... Wait, which one was it? April 24th. And then his fifth video was posted... Basically a month later at April, or June 29th. So, yeah, but that's another point I wanted to make about um, James Nintendo Nerd. Um, basically, my just to round up the first little part of this, when you get famous, apparently, you're supposed to cut down on your video making. I don't really know how that works. I mean, if I was if I was like in Bohem's position, no one would put me in Bohem's position. But if I was, I would post shit every day. Anyways, back to... Angry video game nerd. Um, here's what I'm thinking. 
people like hearing his game reviews. I mean, if you go to the very first page of his videos, you can see the Mario Macaroni commercial that he posted has 124,500 views, whereas his Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest review has 787,000. So, basically, people like seeing his reviews. Now, in that sense, why does he space all of his reviews out to like to every two weeks? I don't understand that. Like, he doesn't have to make all of his videos so fancy and, you know, have like some kind of gimmick to it. You don't need that. All you really need is just review the game, say what you honestly think of on it, and then, you know, that's what people want to hear. And just do that. It would make all of your viewers a lot happier. Like, I'm getting pretty fucking tired of seeing his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game review every single week or whenever I watch it. But just think about it, he has like a lot and a lot of subscribers. And he doesn't post that many videos at one time. So s he spaces all of his videos out to like a month or something, like every three weeks or something, I don't even know. But he... Imagine how many more subscribers he would have. Imagine how much more famous he would be if he just posted more videos like his first one where he just plays the game and talks about it. Instead of having some gimmick like in Die Hard where he's like dodging explosions or something like what bottom line just make more videos just do it like you used to play the game and talk about it you don't need any fancy you know gimmick to go with it you just need to play the game and talk about it you know what's bullshit you're not making enough videos make more goddamn videos people like your stuff